Hello, all you wonderful people out in YouTube land, and welcome to the Dollar Store Pour. Thank you so much for joining me. It is a beautiful day to paint, so let's go ahead and get to it. So, I'm sure you've already noticed um, something a little different. Uh, I've got all sorts of little shot glasses on a, on a canvas. Uh, they're these little clear plastic shot glasses. Uh, I've already filled a handful of them, five of them up with some red. And the rest I'm going to fill up with uh, different shades of blue. i got some light blue. A, I guess, medium blue. And a darker blue. The light blue has um, the um, leather waterproofing stuff. I've used that in a previous video. Uh, the medium blue has uh, some hair conditioner. Uh, I've used that as well. And the darker blue has some um, uh, dish detergent. Uh, they, of course, all have the water and PVA glue as well. Uh, the red, I have added uh, some water and PVA glue, and that's it to that. And I'll also be adding uh, a little black and a little white, uh, but we'll get to that shortly. Uh, the inspiration for this painting, uh, there's a an outdoor pool just up the road from where I live, and uh, it's open from about a day or two after school is out for the summer, till about a day or two before school goes back in in the fall. And uh, my son lives for it. We go every day. Uh, and, and on days off, holidays, weekends, what have you, we go twice a day. And we've taken it upon ourselves to make sure that we save all the bumblebees that we see in the pool, as well as all the ladybugs. And we see far more ladybugs than we do bumblebees. And so that's where the inspiration came for this. The red, of course, represents the, the ladybugs and the blue and a bit of white will be mixed in as well represents the water and so let's go ahead and make some water what I'll be doing once I get these all full is um, Flipping them upside down onto the canvas. We'll speckle white in that just because I can. And as far as the black and white, uh, well, that's for the spots on the ladybug. And we'll get to that momentarily once we flip it over. And we're just filling up all these with the blues. And again, just a tiny bit of white. Might get lost in the mix when we're when we're pouring it and moving it all around, but that's all right. reason I have them face up like this on a canvas uh, is because I will be putting the canvas that they're going to end up on and flipping that upside down so they'll all be face down and I'm going to poke some holes in the blue and go ahead and drag them around the canvas a little bit and we'll see what we get just a tiny bit more white And as you can see, the white has actually nothing added. So we'll see how that looks as well once it's all said and done. And I spilled a little bit of blue there, but that's all right. Because this canvas actually has the, uh, the plastic on it still, so there's nothing I can do to hurt that. Okay, so I'm going to put these blues aside. I've got spares here, spares, extra, just in case I need it. Just going to take a skewer and stir that up just a tiny bit. All right, that ought to do. 
do it. And so now we have the canvas that it's going on to. I've already got the pins in there. And so we'll put that on. And uh, with all of those shot glasses, with a little luck, I'll, uh, I'll be able to pull this off. So let's see what we get here. Oh, I heard something move. It didn't uh, sound very promising. Oh, it was just a blue, and that's going to be sliding around anyway, so that's quite all right. All right. Let's put that back in the middle for no real reason. Now, as I said, I'm going to poke some holes in the blue and then move them around. Now, it's a very stiff plastic, so I'm just going to heat up a pin and poke that through. Now, that one's coming out already. Wow, that one's on the move. Goodness. It's a very stiff, hard plastic. Not all that easy to puncture. Oh dear. Don't mind it moving a little bit, I suppose, but well, there's not much to say in the matter. Seems like once you poke a hole in them, they have a mind of their own. It's all right. There. So let's go ahead and move these around. Very little pressure, trying not to let it tip, of course, but uh, otherwise, I want a lot of paint to flow out. sure I get the edges as well. fire that blue before I take the red off or take the red on there. Uh oh, alright, I see a couple little bits there I want to get rid of. Sometimes that happens with the acrylic paint. No big deal. So let's go ahead and get the red. All right. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, move the paint around just a little bit. Just to make sure I have full coverage here. Won't take much. edges and I'm just going to spread this pen out a tiny bit those red blobs more like ladybugs. And so I'll do the black. Hmm. Alright. Some more black. Little known fact about ladybugs. I don't know if you can Google this or not, but you can tell how old a ladybug is by the number of spots it has on its back. For instance, this one is four years old. Not everybody knows that. some white ones here very shortly of course if you look at the, the ladybug they've got some white on them on their uh, their I don't know we call it head or faces or what have you oh, this one got a little deformed but that's all right it's abstract after all Last one. All right, that'll do it for the black. Now I'll get some white on there. Just wiping the black off, just gonna use the same stick and uh, hope that the, uh, the black doesn't transfer. Because we'll find out momentarily. And here's the light. Oh, I'll have to fix that one. But that's all right. Two more to go. And finally this one. All right. All right, so because of all the additives, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit. I'm going to give it about a half an hour, like usual, and uh, we'll come back. I'm going to see if I can fix that up a little bit, that uh, wonky eye. And we'll come back in a half hour, and uh, we'll see what she looks like. All right, so it's been about a half an hour. Uh, I do see 
some cell formation. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to pick up on the camera uh, because, of course, it is blue on blue, which is expected. I'm just going to get a bit closer and take a look here. All right, so that's going to do it for me. Uh, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and throw a like my way. It'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and that way you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see all you wonderful people next time.